Now at 530, a public housing complex in the Bronx flooded out for the second day in a row. A stairwell on the Morrisania Air Rights Building on Park Avenue turned into a waterfall. The broken pipe had flooded several apartments and hallways. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle Lee live in the Melrose section with the frustration and the response from NYCHA. Danielle? Sandra, it was one crazy morning that turned into a frustrating afternoon. And while the flooding has stopped, the damage to these apartments is done. A small puddle of water behind the Surreal's home is some of the only remaining evidence <laughs> of the indoor rainstorm that had people scrambling to protect their belongings. It was coming down from the walls and it entered the kitchen and the whole apartment. A broken pipe on the 17th floor had sent water rushing down the stairwell and flooded several floors in this public housing complex. Residents grabbed brooms and tried to sweep away the water from their doors. Many didn't even have time to get dressed. I was squeegeeing water out of my house. Oh, the couch is mad wet. It's just terrible. The New York City Housing Authority turned off the water and the elevators for safety reasons. But that left many senior citizens like Niev stranded. I couldn't go downstairs because the water was coming down the stairs. Also, the elevators were broken. Those who could struggled up and down slippery stairs for a bit of fresh air. This marked the second time in as many days that residents were dealing with flooding from a broken pipe. Now again, they're saying it's another broken pipe, and tomorrow they'll come out and say it's another screw that is another broken pipe. NYCHA employees came out to fix the damage, and a spokesperson promised the problem would be resolved as soon as possible. City Council Member Vanessa Gibson was here too. She said she's been working on the flooding issue since it started. I'm not happy at the way residents are living, and I will not stop until they get a better quality of life. More than 800 units are in this entire complex, so that just gives you an idea of just how many people were impacted by this whole mess. It was late this afternoon that the elevators were turned back on.